Okay, uh, so uh, hi everyone. My name is Daniel Laskwitz. I am a senior cloud advocate uh, at Microsoft and I work mostly on the Power Platform. And that's why I'm presenting this presentation on extending Copilot for Microsoft 365 with connector AI plugins in Copilot Studio. So for a quick recap of uh, Copilot Studio, uh, Copilot Studio is the tool to extend and customize first party Copilots, but also to build your own custom Copilot. So, as you can see here in this picture, at the top you can see a whole bunch of Copilots that we have within Microsoft. And you can, of course, also build your own custom Copilots. At the bottom of the image, you can see that uh, you can also use other services outside of Copilot Studio to connect with uh, your Copilot or uh, even with one of the uh, first party Copilots. So you can use, uh, for instance, bot framework skills inside of your custom Copilots. You can use Azure AI Studio to connect that to uh, your Copilot. And there are tons of other options as well. But today, I'm going to talk about the Copilot for Microsoft 365 plugins, and I'm going to mostly talk about the Power Platform side of this. Uh, before, um, uh, a couple of weeks back, I already did a demo on prompt plugins, and um, Paolo uh, did a, a session on conversational plugins, and now I'm going to talk about connector AI plugins. And that's uh, the one that you can see here. There's also a Power Automate plugin that you can have, uh, and we'll talk about that in the future. Uh, but for now, we're going to talk about co uh, connector AI plugins. And what are connector AI plugins? They are basically um, an extra setting inside of uh, custom connectors that you can enable. And then you can certify that as a connector AI plugin, and that will be available inside of uh, Copilot for Microsoft 365. So what's an example of that? For instance, the ServiceNow connector, uh, that also has a uh, connector AI plugin, and that can list uh, incidents in ServiceNow via uh, Copilot for Microsoft 365. And also uh, the Salesforce connector also has a, a connector AI plugin, and that can, uh, for instance, list and filter leads within uh, Copilot Studio. So that's an example of um, the, um, uh, the different co connector AI plugins that we have. But if you want to create your own connector AI plugin, how does that work? Uh, you can create your connector just like a normal custom connector and make sure that it is enabled as a connector AI plugin. I'm going to show you how that works in a little later uh, during the demo. Um, and after you have created it, it's good to test your connector plugin with a validator tool. Uh, so there is a validator tool that you can download from uh, Microsoft uh, Learn, and uh, you can use that to kind of try out if your connector is working well as the connector AI plugin. Because of course, uh, when you use Copilot for Microsoft 365, the, um, uh, the thing is that you use natural language to trigger that connector. And of course, you want to test before you make it available for people if it really hits the right uh, operations, for instance. So you can try out with uh, your own natural language to, uh, to trigger that connector AI plugin and see if it does the right things. So that's something that you want to do. And after that, when you are completely happy with it, you need to certify it. Uh, and there's a certification process. I'll have a link of that later as well. Uh, and that certification process will go through Microsoft. Uh, so uh, you have to certify it. And then when Microsoft is okay with it, it will be available for people um, in their tenant. And what happens next is that the Connector AI plugin will be available inside of the integrated apps area in the admin uh, for Microsoft 365 area. And you can then go to settings, integrated apps, and available apps to de deploy your connector AI plugin to your users. So that's when you want to have, um, for instance, if the uh, if your own custom connector, you have created that, you have certified that, uh, you can find that in the available apps and you can deploy it to um, one person, multiple people, or even your whole company if you want to. Uh, and then uh, it is available for those people. 
And then after that, they can use it in Copilot for Microsoft 365. So they can uh, open it in the Copilot app uh, for Teams. And they can use the plugin flyout and then enable the connector in um, Copilot for Microsoft 365. So it's a couple of steps. You have create the connector. You need to enable it as the AI plugin. And as you can see in the screenshot in the middle, uh, it's just a checkbox that you can enable for the action that you want to enable. And then after that, uh, you want to validate it. So you want to uh, check out if uh, the right operations get triggered, etc. And then, of course, when you're ready, you can submit for certification. So I've already been talking a lot about it. Let's move on to a demo. And let's see if I can get this to work. Here we go. Um, so here we are on the Copilot Studio homepage. Uh, this is where you can create your custom Copilot or extend it. Um, we have a bunch of options here. We have the homepage, of course. We have Copilot where you can find all your custom Copilots, and we can extend here. When you click on extend, you can see that we have here a Copilot for Microsoft 365 and other Microsoft Copilot experiences. In this case, we are going to um, work with the uh, Copilot for Microsoft 365. So here I have an option at Power Platform Components. I can click on that, and then I have all the options that I just uh, summarized in the presentation. You can see that we have the conversation plugin, uh, we have the prompt plugin, the flow plugin, and the connector plugin. If I click on connector, it will open uh, Power Automate and it will show the custom connector area here. And um, what I can do here is I can create a new uh, custom connector if I want to, or I can work with an already existing connector. And that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to edit my connector that I have here as, uh, already. So when I open that, I can see just the normal experience of a custom connector. I have a couple of uh, sections here. I have a general section where I can add uh, the name of the connector. I can add a, an icon. I can add some descriptions. The URL is in there, etc. I have the security section where I can handle security. In this case, it's pretty easy because it's a no authentication connector. I can go to definition, and that's where all the uh, operations are in. So here I can see that I have an operation to retrieve a random Chuck Norris joke, and I have an operation to get the categories. Then I also have the AI plugin section, and that's where uh, my plugin manifest is. So what I can do here is I can add a name, I can add a description, I can add a contact email and legal terms a URL. And that's basically all that you need to do for your uh, manifest. And then we also have some plugin, plugin actions here. When I click on that, I can enable that action as a Copilot plugin operation. Um, and when I do that, then it will be uh, one of the operations that is available uh, for the Connector AI plugin. So here I have the get joke and the get categories one, for instance, when I enable this, I can update the connector um, and then I can um, start trying out with the validator if the connector is working well. Uh, the things that you really want to uh, notice here is that the summary and the description, for instance, uh, they all have the edit in definition tab uh, thing here. Uh, and that means that whenever you want to change the description or the summary, you need to do that in the definition tab. And this is really important because all these uh, descriptions and all these uh, metadata fields, they are being used to um, uh, to trigger the right uh, the right parts for the um, uh, for the connector. Uh, and that's also being fed into the large language model. So you really need to make sure that you have right descriptions and summaries because otherwise that will uh, go wrong. Uh, but when you are done, for instance, uh, you can just close it and you can download the uh, connector because when you want to validate your connector, you need to download it first. When you download it, you get the Swagger file. And uh, from that moment on, you can uh, start validating it. And let me switch to that part uh, because I'm not going to demo that live. But um, we have the validator tool. Uh, that's the plugin validator.exe. Uh, and you have a couple of parameters in there. Uh, 
Uh, also, the Swagger file in there, uh, you have to you have the URL of your um, uh, Azure OpenAI service instance. You need to have a key. You need to have the name of the uh, of the model. But um, that when you run that, um, you can uh, test out your connector, um, and then whenever you run that, um, let me see. Here we go. I think. There we go. So when you run that validator, it will um, ask you to enter a prompt to test the plugin, and that's where you can enter your natural language. So here I can ask for a Chuck, uh, a Chuck joke from ChuckNorris.io, um, which is uh, the connector that I use. And when I um, hit enter, you can already see that the operation ID is get joke. Uh, so from that prompt, the get joke operation is triggered, but that's not really interesting so far. Um, but when you go a little bit more advanced, um, you can also ask for a Chuck Norris joke um, from the dev category, and then it will add the category to the um, URL, for instance. So here it has category is dev. Um, so that's also a question that you can ask uh, the, um, uh, the connector. And you can also ask for the Chick Norris IO categories, and that's a, a completely different URL that it uses. And it goes uh, to the um, get categories endpoint and the categories URL. So that's how you can uh, validate if it hits the right, um, the right parts. Let me quickly move to uh, the demo again. Oh, hold on, there we go. And I'm going to uh, go to Teams to show you um, how it actually works as a user. So when I hit the plugins menu inside of Copilot, I can enable uh, the Chuck Norris IO connector from here because I have already deployed uh, the app here. And now I can ask uh, for uh, a Chuck Norris joke. So can I get a Chuck joke from Chuck? Norris IO. And then um, Microsoft 365 Copilot will uh, look at all the different plugins that I have available, which are enabled. And it will also look at the uh, Copilot for Microsoft 365. And then it will um, it will respond with um, the uh, joke um, if it finds it. And in this case, I can click on the reference and you can see that the Chuck Norris IO Power Platform connector is being used. And because I also enabled the developer, um, developer mode, uh, you can also see what uh, has been done with the plugin. So here you can see that I have the uh, Chuck Norris IO connector uh, plugin also enabled. Uh, it's matched, it's selected, and even the execution details, you can see here that it has a success. And um, that's how you can make sure uh, that the uh, right plugin is triggered in this case. So that's how you use it. And lastly, I have some resources. So these are the URLs for the prerequisites for plugins, uh, how to create a connector AI plugin. It will have a, a Microsoft Learn link there, uh, and you can find a lot of details about that. And also, I have a link for the uh, certification process. So that's how you can um, how you can see um, how you can certify your connector plugin. And with that, I want to pass it along to the next demo. Thank you.